Hey everybody, we're back. Our first night with a guest after, you know, a little bit of a break. Last week we were just here kind of like talking about some things we were going to do upcoming with Night Hair Collective and stuff. That's our paranormal team. I don't know if we talked about that last time or not, but um, so we have a special guest and he's very excited to talk to everybody and to speak and answer any comments or questions for any of his fans or anybody else that's just got questions and um, welcome James and you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Welcome. Yes. Uh, well, my name is James Stokes. Uh, yes, I've, I've played the infamous Jason Voorhees and Voorhees Night of the Beast. Um, I've actually played uh, Voorhees in another fan film that I'll be um, that'll be coming out soon. I think it's going to be premiered at the Slasher Con in Lex Lexington, Kentucky in October. So I'm looking real forward to that. Um, just got back from Denver, Colorado at the uh, Colorado Horror Festival which was absolutely amazing. Uh, the fans there that came out to see all of us and everything was absolutely phenomenal. Um, got to meet and, and, and talk to a lot of people that are just avid horror fans, which is, is that's, well, that's what we do. That's why we do what we do. And that's uh, to, to bring to life the uh, horror genre to all the fans out there. So it's, it's, it was absolutely an amazing time this last weekend in Colorado. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, of course I wanted to wear the, you know, the Jason mask cause you're going to be on here, but, uh, but now that everybody's seeing me in that, I'm going to take that off because it's going to be awesome. And I'm not ignoring awesome. anybody. I'm sharing right now and doing like the sharing and stuff real quick. Yeah. 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 I uh, see Angela. Angela said, Hey, I love Angela. Angela Joseph, she is absolutely phenomenal as well. Uh, got to see her and spend some time with her in Colorado and uh, uh, got to meet her family, which was absolutely a joy. And uh, the, the, the kids just loved me seeing me in costume and stuff like that and getting to know them. It was absolutely, it's, it was just a great time. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you're doing it, you know, you look like you are talking about doing the cons and everything, you know, it's a, mm -hmm. it's the same, you know, it's the same reason we do it. Uh, we do the cons is because we like to talk to, you know, the fans and talk about what we're, what we're involved in as far as the paranormal stuff. So, I mean, it's a, uh, sure. It's really cool. It's really cool well, that's, to talk to you. Yeah. That's ab to the absolutely. That's what it's all about. You know, we, we wouldn't have cons. We wouldn't have, anything if it wasn't for the fans out there that love that love the horror genre and uh, that that love to see us on screen and, and be it and and us having the privilege and i feel like that's what it is for me it's an actual privilege for me to be able to put on the mask and the suit and to portray a character that is so iconic and mm -hmm. for people to come up to me and tell me how i portrayed that character was just absolutely it blew me away. I mean, literally, I mean, I had tears in my eyes on some of it because it was like, wow, you know, this is what it's all about right here. And so, you know, um, I, it was just, it was great. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's pretty cool because, you know, like you just said, you, it's an iconic character. Like you're playing, you know, a slasher, you know, Jason Voorhees, but it's so much bigger than, bigger than that. You know, it's because it, it's just the following the fan base, you know, it's just, insane really you know absolutely well when you're following in the footsteps of of like cj graham and and kane hotter and what everyone that played it every character i mean every actor that played jason Voorhees is to me absolutely phenomenal because i know what it takes to play this character and i'm yeah. telling you it's not it's not easy you know just because you don't have a line in it that just i mean you have to portray this character as what the character is meant to be and that's not easy by not speaking you know so it, it's a little hard but i absolutely love playing this character and people seem to love everybody that's seen the movie has told me they absolutely love it and that's to me that's all that matters jason pitts he put on the writing was phenomenal the 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 cinematography was absolutely phenomenal the editing was amazing the acting in it was great. I mean, just everything all around. And that's what it takes to make a good film, whether it be an indie film or whether it be a SAG film. If you don't have everything working in, in, in sync, it's not going to come out right. So, And I feel like even with the budget that we had for this independent film, I felt like that we produced a Hollywood film. 
and that's in my, and that's in my mind. And that, so, yeah, so that's, and, and it, with what all the, the fans are saying, they kind of agree with me. Yeah. I, I totally do. You know, even being a, a fan myself, but, uh, I, uh, I did a refresh and rewatch the movie today, but uh, it's just, there's just so much in it besides just, you know, you're talking about the character of Jason, but like the, the things that, that are, are brought up through the movie that you have to catch, like the nod to, you know, the, to Freddy Krueger through there, the nod to, uh, you know, uh, the nod to like evil dead with the book and everything. And it's, uh, it, it's, it's pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool, like the little things that that make the movie, you know, what it is, and then the music is Absolutely. pretty cool. You know, um, the music was awesome. Yes, I, I, I I'm going to be in Jones. I think I'm going to be in Jonesboro, Arkansas, here before long. And uh, the actual band that did the uh, soundtrack for our movie, they're going to be playing down there while I'm going to be there. Really? I'm going to be I'm going to be in full costume and all that stuff. So yeah, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, I think people are going to really love that. Are you allowed to say who the band is? The band, uh-huh. uh, yes, and it's just left my mind. Gary Swift, he's going to kill me. I cannot think of the name of the band uh, right now. I, uh, but yes, Gary Swift is, <laughs> is one of, and he was in he was in the he was in the movie with me. But uh, yes, uh, the uh, golly, I cannot think. Was of it in it the just, Jason, not of the Beast movie? Yes, movie? yes, uh huh, okay. yeah, I will yes, Google absolutely. It. We'll yes, it. please do, and, and because <laughs> and Gary, Gary, I love you. I'm sorry. I swear, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, Amy would, I think Amy is on here watching if she could, she could tell us probably what it is, but uh, exit, Exeter, uh, Exeter. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yep. I told you she would, she'd come through for me. I knew she would. <laughs> yeah. But uh, anyway, so, uh, yeah. And Amy, oh my God, Amy Lynn there. Oh my God. I can't say enough about her. She was, she was like the first AD and stuff on, on the film and it, it Films, films like ours can't get made without people like her. And, and, and I I can't say that enough because she did so much. She did so much for all of us. And it was just absolutely the whole crew cast and crew was just phenomenal in this movie. Yeah. uh, You 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 talked about the, everything in it, the cast, the crew, the music, and then Mm -hmm. just look at the location, like how, you know mm-hmm. how where it was shot. It was pretty cool. Yes. It fit the story. It worked. You know, um, it, it never, never watching it all in any part of the movie. I, I think any of it was, you know, kind of cheesy or anything. It was cool. Uh, it kept me yeah, entertained. Thank you. I, I liked it. Um, you know, it just kept, it kept, it kept flowing. Like you're just like, man, what's, you know, what's happening? What's happening next? You know, so absolutely. It, it was pretty cool. Uh, I'm proud I'm, of you, Jason. You watched it. I didn't watch it yet. <laughs> Sorry. It's a horror film. I had to watch it, you know. That's but so uh, it's yeah. uh, it's pretty cool, you know. It's the the whole thing, the way like you were saying, the way it was made and everything it was just it's it's awesome to me. I liked it. Yeah, a lot. I was very proud of it. I mean, it, it, you know, when I first got the the role, it, it I'm not gonna lie to you, it scared me. I mean, it's like, oh my god, how do I? How do I play Jason Voorhees? <laughs> and it's like, I mean, I'm a big guy. Yes. But it's like, yeah. it's more than just being hey, a big guy. It, it's, um, Hey Nick. Uh, but hey, it's, Nick. it's more of being golly. I mean, you have to study that character. Kane Hodder, you know, Oh, big shoes big to fill. Yeah. Boots. Should I say boots? Yeah. When, boots and when I talked, when I talked to Kane Hodder, you know, I told him, you know, I said, Dude, I don't, I don't know if I could feel. And he said, "You'll do fine," you know. And it said, mm-hmm. and that that helped me more than anything. So it was, it was great. I mean, because I took it very serious. I don't care, you know, independent film or not. I took it like it's a the biggest budget SAG yeah. film out there. Well, it might and, be like and, the, I mean, the best rated B movie ever made. You never know. <laughs> uh, very, you never know. Right. And you know what? It, if you're going to do anything, right, you know, if you're going to do anything at all, do it right. And that's the way I look at things. And that's why I would look at life. You know, if you're going to do anything at all, you got to do it right. And if you don't have that mentality, don't get out of bed. I mean, I literally, like Jason. because. <laughs> Jason says so, I was so, one, one the movie, uh, just watching it. Um, uh, you know, when it, when Jason finally shows up and, and, and you're watching him, uh, you I can tell that you did a lot of stuff to get his mannerism, just like what he does, like moves the way he moves and, you know, turns or, you know, that kind of well, thing. Thank you. 
Yeah, well, yeah thank I you mean, very much. Yeah, you really noticed it, you know. Well, that's and that's what I was going for. So, and and a fans like you are going to notice that when it, when you got a character that is not going to speak or not, can't speak, right. they're going to watch for mannerisms. They're going to watch what that character does to see. But I'm telling you, because I'd have got called out on it if I hadn't. I guarantee it. But everybody that's seen, everybody that's seen it, or at least everybody that's talked to me, has absolutely loved it. And so I'm, I'm very pleased. I think Jason Pitts is very pleased with it. The whole cast and crew, we're, we're pleased with what kind of product we put out. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, absolutely! Thank you, Nick. Yes, very, very, very He's true. He's a horror right fanatic, there. like one of the biggest horror fanatics I know. <laughs> well, yeah. come out and meet me sometime, Nick. I'd love to meet you, buddy, for yeah. sure. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I thought I thought one of the coolest parts of the movie. I don't want to give anything away. People haven't seen it really, but it's just when you have a showdown. You know, Jason has a showdown with a regular uh, guy, the big guy that you fight. I don't. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Mad, Mad, Mad Man Fulton. His name is Jason, Jacob Southwick. Uh, yeah, he, he's a great guy. You don't you don't yeah. see that because Jason usually just kills whoever you know. So right. it's kind of yeah. cool to see that fight between a regular guy and then somebody as big yeah. as Jason. Huh. Yeah, I, and you know, I I, I kind of like that too because it's like it. I think it gives the viewer a little bit more. It's it's they're let they're making almost like they're fighting or they're uh, rooting for Jason and they know Jason's going to win, but it's yeah. like, <laughs> let's see, let's see him get hit. Let's see him get right. held up and all that stuff. And what's he going to do when he can't, you know, he can't move and all that stuff. Well, he drops his knife and puts it through himself and stabs mm -hmm. him through the, through the stomach. You know, yeah. it's just stuff like that. How's he going to get out of this? And you know, I can see, I know myself, I was sitting there watching it going, all right, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? You know, even I know what's going to happen. But it's right. like I think I'm thinking what the viewer is gonna going to see, you know, it's or what what the viewer is going to think or what's going to happen next. Yeah, so that's that's really cool. That has yeah. to be like a key factor nowadays, especially for horror films. Like back in the day, they didn't have as good of graphics, but the horror films had that on the edge. Um, you know, Absolutely, like yes. It has to be a key element, even in the newer films, no matter like what kind sure. of technology you're using or what kind of you know like. Um, computer technology or special effects. You got to yeah. have that key element of like being on the edge. That's exactly team. right. You got to be on the edge. And it's like Angela. Angela said she watched it three times before she met me. That's that's awesome. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's a true fan right there. And, and Angela is definitely a fan of horror. There's not a doubt I mean, in my she mind really about liked that. It too. That's right. So, uh, yeah, I, I I love Angela. She's great. Yeah, it was. I, I really like that. I like that factor of, uh, or, uh, you know, Jason fighting somebody. I like how the movie always shows uh, no matter where they're at and they run in the woods, Jason's like right there. Like he always just yeah. shows up. <laughs> like, he just you know. freaking shows up. It's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jason's like, always Santa there. Claus. He's like Santa Claus. He's right. <laughs> I liked how they uh, tied in like the, the mythos stuff to like how Jason becomes Jason, like how he becomes. Right. Yeah. That and me and Pitts, uh, Jason Pitts, he, he came to me and we was actually talking about it. If, he, if we wanted to kind of delve into the, uh, you know, because Jason's a demon. And so, you know, do we want to delve into the de demonic side of it a little bit? And it's like, uh, I don't know if we should, you know, do that. I'm glad we didn't. I think that would have, I think some people, I think the true horror fan would have loved it. In a way, but I think I think we would have lost some viewers if we would have done that. So I'm kind of glad that we kind of leave that um, to everybody's imagination. So, so yeah, <laughs> we got uh, our I family, like Jason. That. I like that. That's awesome. Like, yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, I signed I signed some stuff for her down in Denver. I was <laughs> she was so sweet, and I mean that's just that makes my day. I mean that's this is that's why I do what I do. Yeah, I'm sure we're gonna we're gonna catch you somewhere. We're gonna actually yeah. see you in person. Uh, yeah. I don't oh, know. Yeah. We will, and then yeah, I'm gonna have you sign my mask and stuff. So you know, <laughs> absolutely, dude, absolutely. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, besides just the like the movie stuff, what else you got going on? Oh goodness! Well, yeah, let's talk no, about the book. 
Because I'm going to know ask that. Yes. I want to know about <laughs> right. it. Give, give us a give All us right. some tidbits. All right. Give you a little backstory on preemptive strike beyond sight. Um, me and uh, four other producers, or three other producers, sorry, there's four of us. But anyway, we went on this journey about a year, a little, well, actually, this has been going on for almost two, but about a year ago, I came onto the team. And um, we, the script is written by Nicholas Rice, and um, we take in that script and rewrote it several times. And Chris, uh, I mean, Nick has literally just made the script better and better and better. Well, we got to talking to some people, and um, before we go into pre-production on the movie, we were told that maybe we should put it into a book form first because sometimes getting a book out there first would help, you know, boost the movie a little bit. So Nicholas found this uh, ghostwriter and uh, we took the script to him. He's turned it now into a 48 chapter book. It is literally, literally became number one on the bestsellers list on Amazon. It was, it's still number one on, um, uh, the new releases, uh, where our ebook tomorrow, I think is the last day you can get it at 99 cents for the ebook. Mm-hmm. Uh, the paperback is nine 99 on Amazon and the hardback is 1999, uh, oh. which I just found out that we had hardbacks. I didn't even know we had a hardback on this, but we do. So, but th- yes, the book is doing phenomenal. It is still on the bestseller list. I am. We're so proud of it. Um, me and Nicholas have been uh, working our tail, well, all the whole team, but we have been working our tails off to getting this thing going and um, getting funding and stuff for the movie. We're hoping to start pre-production on the movie next spring. Uh, so there's a, a lot going on. But please, everyone, if you love to read, if you are into superhero, MMA, and military-style mo- um, movies, please go and read this book. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, it's a uh, Fast pace, pace. It's action based. Uh, it's superhero. Um, I don't want to tell you a lot about the superhero aspect of it. I want you to find that out in the book. I think you're gonna. Um, it's something that hasn't been done before, and I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Yeah, but the ebook's ninety nine cents. The paperback's nine ninety nine till tomorrow, and then the the, the hardback's nineteen ninety nine. So yeah, but I mean, thank you for asking. But yes, we, this is something that's very exciting for all of us getting ready to uh, j- another journey, I guess you'd say. Oh, for sure. I mean, being what, what 48 chapters, you said, I mean, it's a 48 chapter book. Yes, it is. And it's amazing. <laughs> it's about, I think it's 300 and something pages. I mean, it's not like a terrible, terrible read. I mean, it, it's, it, I'm telling you what the people that have read it said, they can't put it down. Like they literally read the first chapter and cannot put it down. So that's what we want to hear. That's yeah. the reason it's went to number one on the bestsellers now. And it, it's doing fantastic. And I just, I cannot wait to see where this journey takes us. So uh, sure. I know Rosie and I will get a copy of that. I will for sure. Yeah, you know? yeah absolutely. Please. Uh, tomorrow's the last day. It's at 99 cents for the ebook. Right. And then, yeah. Yeah. And 99 and nine ninety nine for the for paperback. So yes. <laughs> but get your ebook for 99 cents now. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, Angela. Angela, I'll sign as many masks as you want me to. <laughs> so with with that kind of stuff going on, playing Jason and then playing, mm-hmm. you know, being in this in this type of movie uh, coming up, it sounds pretty physical. Like, what do you do to stay it's, in shape like that all the time? Well, I, I keep myself in. I'm 51 years old, and I keep myself in the gym. I'm I'm I'm. I've seen, I'm sure that y'all seen, you know, my pictures and stuff. So I'm, I'm a pretty, pretty big guy, but, uh, I literally have to stay in the gym. It's harder. You know, the older you get, the harder it is to stay in shape. Um, so I, I literally have to work out nonstop, you know, between, between five and six days a week, about an hour and a half to two hours a day. So that's, that's what I try to do. And sometimes it's hard to get in the gym, but I push myself and I make myself do it. And, then I got auditions on top of that and trying to just just work through everyday life. It, it kind of gets hectic a little bit. So yeah. you, brought, you brought that up. That, that leads me to another question is you're talking about your auditions. Now, are you auditioning for all different types of roles or the same? Kind oh, of 
yes, no, all different types of roles. I've literally, I li- and this is no joke, I literally auditioned for a movie um, two nights ago or so, but for Ben Franklin. I literally had really? an uh, now now it's a it's not the traditional Ben Franklin is what you're thinking about with the bald head and all this. It's a different type of movie, but it's it's the character is Ben Franklin and it's still the 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 Ben Franklin you're thinking about, but it's uh yeah, it's but I, but I audition for every type dad, preacher, uh equestrian, you know, horseback riding, uh, you know, I've 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 had my second audition with 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 a big, big TV show that I, I just don't want to, I don't want to hurt my chances, so I'm not going to say anything. Yeah, but it's that's I, bold, I it's bold to be going for that many different kinds of roles because I feel like a lot of actors. It seems like I noticed they get stuck in cast over and over in a very similar role each time for a long time before they get out of that. Like, yeah, uh, I see. My, I get, I get D the cop a lot. I'm, I'm, a, I play a cop a lot in the different <laughs> things that I play. Um, <laughs> I play a killer a lot, or I'm a serial killer, or a killer, or a monster mm-hmm. because I'm a big guy. So yeah, it just really depends. But yes, I tried. I'm not going to. I want to diversify myself. I don't. I don't want to stay. I don't. I don't want to go in a straight path. I want. I want to go zigzag. You know, I want to do that. Um, I just got. And I can say this. I guess it's already out there on Facebook and stuff. It's the dark world of Oz and um, the. the and, and so, and it's a little different. It's it's a it's a spinoff of Wizard of Oz, but instead of calling me the cowardly lion or the lion, I'm the beast. So, and that's my role in this. So, I'm going to be the beast. And then uh, the t- the Tin Man is no longer the Tin Man. It's it, he's called he's he, it's a different name for everybody. So, yeah. it's I, I'm looking forward to that. It's big time. It's Larry Bones and. Um, and I'm looking. I'm 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 looking forward to that 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 film right there. Eileen Dietz is in that as well. So, really? uh, you know, really? yes, she is. Yes, she's playing. She's playing Aunt M. So <laughs> it's a <laughs> it's going to be amazing. So yeah, I'm looking I like forward. Any to that. spin on Wizard of Oz? I've seen like oh movies, yeah ones, and they're neat. Each time it's different and weird. And we weird. grew up. We grew up with that show. Yeah. You know. So yeah. and. You know, and take it on a spin of the horror genre. Come on, yeah. who would who would want to see that? one's pretty creepy already. But it I mean, is. It really, it I really mean, is. You, know? you can play with that and make it like even you know weirder or darker. That'd be cool. Right, right. It it really is. It's 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 just weird. You know, it's just a weird show, but you can't There's stop a new Winnie watching the Pooh. it. There's like Winnie the Pooh's rights were bought <laughs> away from Disney, and now it's like oh you know, yeah, yes, demonic evil killing bear, and I'm like what. <laughs> Oh my gosh! So funny. Yeah, but I love it. I love it. Did you get actually hurt while on set? Um, you know what? Um, hurt? No, I did not get hurt. Uh, and I'm assuming he's talking about Voorhees Night of the Beast. I did not get hurt. I did. I was sore. I'm on. I'm not gonna lie to you there because when you got a a seven foot guy picking you up and throwing you across the. Yeah. The, the, the yard it's it, it, you know you land pretty hard i'm oh, i yeah. weigh 230 i weigh 230 pounds so to pick me up and to toss me you know that's that's yeah i'm gonna i'm a, i was a little sore but no i never got hurt i never twisted an ankle or or run into a tree or anything like that so i was it was a, a pretty good let's see eileen is one of my best friends oh yeah 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 i'm angela yeah eileen is a I, me and Eileen's been talking for a long time, and we finally have gotten in a movie together, and and it's called The Dark World of Oz, and I think it's going to be absolutely phenomenal, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, for sure. I think uh, I think you know that's another thing. You you know, it seems like you're 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 building on something here that you're you're stepping in the the shoes of all these iconic uh, you know roles. You know, I don't know, maybe something. Maybe something to that. I don't know. It's uh, yeah. Well, since we're on the subject, since we're on the subject, I got a friend of mine up in Kentucky, and he's written a, a film, and I'm going to do. Uh, I will be playing the headless horseman in oh um, Ica- Ichabod Crane. Yeah. It's called Ica- it's, it's called Ichabod Crane, and I'm also you know I'll be helping him uh, direct it a little bit and everything. But I'm going to be I'm going to be the headless horseman. So uh, oh, wow. we're 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 working on something right now mm-hmm. with that. Uh, so I'm looking very, um, 
I, yes, there's some iconic roles. I'm also working with uh, uh, iconic uh, FX guys, Nick Benson and Mick Strawn, on some stuff. Nick Benson and Mick Strawn, if you were, if you remember the the movie The Howling. Oh yeah, um, yeah, The Howling with the werewolves yeah. and all that. Okay, yeah. well, I'm I'm working on them with some things that I, I can't say a whole lot about right now. But I was thinking I, for some reason that popped in my you. mind when you said their name. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, they've done. Go go to Mick Strawn's page. Oh my goodness, uh, Tremors, uh, Leatherface, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, yeah, I mean, so many iconic movies that he's worked on with FX. Oh my goodness. So you know, and getting to work with these guys. Come on, that's 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 horror legends right there. Yeah, I mean, it's literally, like your dream, your dream, probably of like if anyone has a horror oh, film, yes, like interest, that'd yes. be like a dream come mm-hmm. true to be able to work with yes. those type of people that you really. But like, like I said, yes, and I'm not trying to st- I'm not trying to say that I want to be in the horror genre and go yeah. down that one lane road. Mm-hmm. I, but at the same time. Horror is phenomenal, and it's just – I love the way the movies are made. I love how fast mm-hmm. that you can make a horror movie. Uh, you don't have to – you know, I don't know. It's just – I guess you could be a little sloppy with it, and it still looks really good. Yeah. Because it, but it's But it's the production quality, like Angela was saying, the production quality is what makes a horror movie a horror movie. Um it reminds me of the little movie that we made that one time, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. When and where is the film released? Well, if she's talking about Voorhees Night of the Beast, it's already out. It's on YouTube. You can go and watch it right now. Just punch in Voorhees Night of the Beast, and it'll pop right up. It's right at the top. So um, it's definitely it's, – it's, it's, the views are just still climbing today, and it's just – it's amazing. Yeah, and I, I the other two aren't released yet. I don't think the Oz thing is just um, baby steps. Yes, right? and then the Ichabod Crane one is that one in the works? Yes, is it? both of them. Both of them are in what you call uh, script. Uh, so they're the script is still being uh, produced on them, but it's already out on IMDb, so I can go ahead and say it. So that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. If it's on IMDb, it's I'm not releasing anything that can't be yeah, said. Yeah, it's already out. Release the public. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If it's already out on IMDb, then anybody can let see it. What about the Ichabod Crane one? Do you know what it's going to be called? Ichabod Crane. That's Ichabod what it's going to be called. Okay. Yeah, really it's watch called that one. That's like yeah. I it's get more Ichabod and more Crane. interested each different thing that you name, but so far that one is the most interesting mm-hmm. to me. I've always well, been go, and I've got several more Hell Hunters. I've got Hell Hunters. That's going to be that's already on my IMDb. You need to. Go check that out. It's on yeah. my IMDb. <laughs> yes. And all of these, yeah, all of these things. Go check out. Everybody go check out my IMDb. And, oh, I got a link tree that on my Instagram. If you look right underneath my name or my TikTok or whatever, there's my link tree. If you if you click on my link tree, it'll literally take you to every social media site that I have, plus my trailers. Uh, it'll take you to Voorhees Night of the Beast. It'll take you to everything that I have. My calendar, everything. Is there a discography like on there somewhere linked? Like, is your discography, your discography, is it linked on there somewhere where it shows every film you've been in? Yes, yes, it is. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. yep, It sure is. And my merch. Yeah. I've got merchandise on there. If people see a picture that they would like to have autographed, all you got to do is write me. Um, They're twenty bucks for my autograph picture. Uh, just write me and I will send you an autograph picture out. I've done that for several uh, parents of their kids love Jason Voorhees and they'll write me on Facebook and send me the $20 either by PayPal or cash app. And I can literally send them a picture signed by me, everything straight That's to awesome. them. So <laughs> straight from yes, uh, straight, from straight from me. Yep. That I've got, I got several different pictures and options that they can choose from. They just tell me what they want to say on the picture. I'll say it. I, I put my little iconic leave no one alive thing on it and <laughs> sign my name. And because yeah. that's what that's what me is Jason Voorhees. That's my little saying that I have. So, you know, and uh, that's funny. I, I, I absolutely love it. Yes, I do. I always notice all of the people that sign the photos. They have a little couple of little different phrases they'll put on the bottom of them. Yeah, well, that's I have my little saying that I do, and I always sign Jason under my name. So, 
Yep, it's 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 absolutely it's it's so phenomenal to have these people come up to my table or come up to me anywhere. You know, they'll see my necklace. You know, I got my little I got my little Jason. You know, my little Jason head, yep. and they'll see my necklace and they'll say, "Oh, that is so cool!" You know, and that's all it <laughs> takes. And yep. then I go into my, you know, I go into, "Well, do you like horror films?" Because you need to go see mine. And what is it? And then I tell them I'm Jason, and it's like. Woo, all right, my gym, I'm like the celebrity in my gym. <laughs> it's like, you know, and, and it's awesome. And it's so awesome because people recognize me from my movies and stuff like that. You yeah. know, I had a very small part on Stranger Things, but that movie, <laughs> that movie yeah. itself or that show itself literally helped me. And even though I had a small, you know, I filmed a whole lot of stuff in it. Just a lot of it didn't make it yeah. into the film. And yeah. that's what happens, and I'm absolutely okay with that. Just getting to be on a set as iconic as Stranger Things yeah. and getting to see what a big Hollywood set, how it works and, and what they do, it, it helps me as an actor. I, I even, you know, it, it just does. And I have found when you surround yourself with people that know more than you do, you're going to learn something. So that is keep such your mouth. true statement because most people stay the same plateau that they're on. They don't like go bigger to find the people that know what you don't know. You, you're always going to stay on the same platform or the same shelf if you don't allow people to help you rise up. If you don't let your if you don't allow someone to reach down and pick you up, you're never going to go higher. Mm -hmm. You're not, and it's just just the way it is. And the thing of it is, the humility that I have with playing this, this is humbling to me. I, it's a privilege for me to get to be on screen for these fans. It's mm -hmm. these fans is what I, I'm not making me. These fans is what makes me. If I go out somewhere and I'm, and I'm an, I'm sorry, excuse my language, but if I'm an ass to one of my fans, What's that going to do? What's that going to do for me? What's that going to do to them? What's that going to yeah. do to to the genre itself? You're not right. going to go anywhere. You're not. You 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 do not bite the hand that feeds you, and that's a, that's literally a true statement. And I'm talking about that in 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 just like if someone is so happy to see you and they just want to meet you or whatever else, you take the time to meet that person. Yeah. You take the time yeah. to say hi to that person. You take the time to take a picture with that person. And sometimes you don't got to charge for everything. Those yeah. fans, you just <laughs> don't have to. Jason's pet peeve sometimes is people that won't talk to the other persons that are there. They act like they're just not snobs and they're stuck up and they're famous and everybody's there to see them, but they won't go out of their way. Like they'll disappear until it's time for them to go on stage or something. And they just like won't even... Really well, they need the they need to learn how did they become famous? Right, they yeah. get they became famous because fans and people watching their stuff and people yeah. buying their merchandise and stuff like that. They became famous because of that. They didn't become they. You just don't become famous. I'm I'm so I just don't believe that. I believe you come become famous because people like you because people make you famous. That's right. that's how yeah. you become famous. Yeah, no, yeah, totally. Yeah, and that's just the way I feel about. It. I'm very passionate about it, and and it's it's just it, when a, when a fan talks to me, I take the time to talk to them. It's just the way. It's just just the way I want. Hello. Yeah. yeah, we uh we you know unfortunately we run into that some of the things we do, but uh you know where people act they're too good to, to talk to people or yeah. hang, take pitch like you're talking about. Take the time, you know. It's like we always take the time to talk to people who want to talk to us, you know, and then. It doesn't matter how, you know, how big we get or whatever it is, you know, in, in our field. But uh, we take the time. We make it a point to say hi, like you're talking about, take pictures, sign autographs, whatever, mm -hmm. whatever we do. But uh, we, we have uh, we have been in situations where we've been paired with other people that don't. You know. Oh, I'm sure I'm sure you yeah. have. You know, Daryl there saying we need to do a Jason multiverse film with you, Kane, and CJ. You know what? And, and Daryl, that's that's the guy right there that I'm doing the Ichabod Crane movie with and stuff. So okay. thank you, Daryl, for watching. I appreciate that, buddy. Uh, but yeah, I would do that in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I love Kane. Uh, Kane and CJ and, and Derek and all those guys. They're absolutely phenomenal. They're, they're just phenomenal.
Mm-hmm. Right. Um, you know, when you think about when you think about the headless horseman, you know what pops in my mm-hmm. mind. Who's the last person to play that, that pops in your mind? Mine's Christopher Walken. So I mean, well, Christopher Walken, absolutely. Yeah, uh, for sure. So yeah. you know, I think about you taking that that role over, you know, doing it and and you know whatever capacity you want to do it in. It's just like you said earlier. You know, you're filling that. You know, those shoes of people who've done those iconic characters like that. And yeah, you know, exactly. You know, you just you just think you are about stepping it. into that power. Okay, right. you're stepping into that power. <laughs> so, I, mean, I, just, I love it. I love I was it. talking about like I know he has told me one time that he had met somebody. It was a female, and I didn't really know her, and she was just really rude and like snobby to people, and like mm-hmm. really acted like she was there basically just to be admired. I guess I don't know. Yeah. I, I just uh, I don't understand people like that. I, I really don't. As someone who's achieved the most famous stuff, absolutely, Nick. Yeah, I, I, I want to meet you, Nick. That's for sure. You got the you got <laughs> the same kind of. He's just like such a good person. Nick, Nick's yeah, a character. Yeah. Nick, Nick's a character for sure. <laughs> if you go to horror conventions anymore, you will run into this guy. You will. I guarantee. Well. Y'all need to make uh, y'all give give Nick my cell number if you don't mind. I, I wouldn't mind talking to him sometime. Okay. But it's a it's a yeah it's a um I, I agree with you Nick a hundred percent. You you take the time. To, it's just like when I was down in Denver this last weekend. You know I didn't know how many people was going to be at this con. I, I had no idea. Uh, Friday night was you know we had an average crowd. You know I had I, I did really well Saturday. Oh my goodness, that place was packed. There was people coming through there all day long. And you know, when you see Jason, and you know, I had I had my, my banner up behind me with Voorhees Night of the Beast and I had my, my, my Jason mask. I had my mask on the table. I had all my pictures. How can you not want to go see that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, right. people see that and they come over to your table. And, you know, and I just start a conversation. First first thing I'll always ask them, are you local to Denver? You know, and everybody, of course, said they were because that's a local convention and stuff like that. And then the next thing, the next question is, are you a fan of Jason? Everybody says fan of Jason. And then, and then right. well, some people walked up with Michael Myers shirts on. I turned them away. No, I'm just playing. I didn't turn them away. <laughs> I just playing. But I did give them. I did give them a little, little. I, I kind of got on them a little bit. But that, it was great. And and see, that's what it's all about. It's right. about. It's about. It's about interaction with people like that. I pointed and at yet, him and said, "I pity the fool." <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. And I don't meet. And I don't really meet a stranger. So and that's that's the thing. You know, you're you're my best friend as soon as I meet you. And, and that's and that's I think that's the way it should be. You know, I, I think people people need to feel people need to feel. People, pe- everybody wants to feel wanted and and talk to and you know there's just can yes and there's no reason for you not to do that with everybody you meet. There's just mm-hmm. no reason to do that. <laughs> you know I and <laughs> flood the floodgates <laughs> open. Yes, Angela, they did the floodgates open, especially Saturday. And you know it's like me and Angela. Me and Angela have been friends on Facebook for whew, a long time. And I had never met this woman, never. Mm-hmm. And and we met for the first time on Friday night, and it was like me and her had known each other forever. Yeah, and literally, cool. it was like we had known each other forever. And yeah. I met her entire family, her grandkids, her kids. It was absolutely amazing, and it was just that's the way. I meet everybody, everybody that came to my table, everybody that spoke to me when I was walking through in costume. Now, when I was in costume, I was in costume. I didn't mm-hmm. talk. I didn't say nothing. You know, I look at them, you know, I, you know, so, you know, when I'm in character, I'm in character. So, and people love that. They, they didn't want to hear Jason talk. They didn't want to hear Jason talk. Jason don't talk. Yeah. So when I, when I, I didn't talk until I took my mask off. So that was fun. And, but getting it, you know, People come over and I just take my mask off and they ask me, can I take a picture with you with your mask on? I'm sorry. You just took it off. I know you just took it off. I said, no, I'll put it back on. That's what I'm here for. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. I'll put my mask back on. Let's take a picture. <laughs> You're like, Gotta breathe and back on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Breathe and then take it off. But it was, yeah. it was so phenomenal. <laughs> and um, I do want, I do being that I got this platform and I try to take this, 
time to thank everybody that's helped me, my managers, my agents, uh, everybody that's helped me along the way. Angela, I mean, I'm not going. I'm not. Gonna, Angela helped me get this with Denver Con, the the Colorado Horror Festival. Yeah, she was she was a very big advocate for me as far as getting this con. I, I really appreciate that. But I'd like to thank everybody that's helped me out along this way and uh, and to where I'm at right now because I can't. And I haven't, and I won't, and I never have done this all by myself. And it's the people, it's the people that believe in me and that have put their time and effort in me and, and, and all that, that, that has gotten me to where I'm at today. Uh, the book with preemptive strike, uh, my team, Nick, Nick, Katie, Liz, all of us, Nick, all of us, it's, it's a team effort. And, where we're going with this thing is a lot bigger than I ever will be. And that's what, that's what I care about. And, and it's, 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 it's not about the money. I mean, yes, of course we all want to make money. That's what we're in it for. We're making a living, but at the same time, it's the smiles, it's the laughter, it's the hugs. It's the, I, I want to see your movie. It's, it's that it's what it's all about to me. And yeah. it's people you can like do you a lot guys. Of other things and make money, but you can't do a lot of other things and replace that kind of experience. Absolutely. It's people like you guys. If we didn't have you guys to get us out there and to share our stories and to share our our next adventure, our next movies, it, it wouldn't happen. It's guys like you that help us. Y'all are the guys that need to be applauded, not me. Y'all guys need to be the ones to be applauded. So I appreciate you asking me to come on to your Thank show. You. It's a privilege to me to be on your show with you. I love you guys. I really do appreciate that. And thank you to Jason Pitts for sending you to us before. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Yeah, I love Jason. Jason. Did you get to keep any items from the Jason? Yes, I did. I did. And you know what? It's a very. It was a very. I cried. I'm not gonna lie to you. The day we in we 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 stopped shooting in Arkansas. The night we we went to Arkansas, we was had a night shoot, and we got done and we wrapped the entire movie. Literally, every scene had been shot. It was done. We it was going to edit, and we was all in the woods, and I still had my mask on. I was still wearing everything, and Jason thanked everybody. He looked at me. He said, "James, this couldn't have been done without you playing this character. You absolutely." He said, "You did it." I, I can't remember the exact words he said, but anyway, I just thanked him for it. You know, I bowed my head to him pretty much, and just thanked him. And he said, "There at the end, he said." Being that this nobody can wear the suit but you anyway, I'm giving you the entire. He gave me the entire suit, everything. I got the the entire body suit, the mask, the glove. Everything was given to me that night because, and I mean, it was just, it, it was phenomenal. So yes, so Jerry, I have the entire suit, and I took it with me to Denver, and I wore it, and I took photo ops and. It was great, and it's just – it was amazing. So I want to thank Jason Pitts for being a good well, brother. I was going to ask uh, if you did wear that mask, that like a really elaborate one, when you went oh, to yeah. the convention there. Oh, yeah. I had the entire thing on. Yes, it was – It was abs and I took photo ops with people, and uh, it was absolutely amazing. It was absolutely amazing. Phenomenal. That's awesome. He yeah, said so we are going to give you his cell phone number. That's probably where your phone died. <laughs> Yeah, Nick. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys having me on. Seriously. With, with that being said about uh, Jason, are you are you going to do any more movies with him, or how's? Oh, I would do anything in the world. If Jason Pitts calls me and tells me he's got a movie. I'm doing his movie, absolutely, 100. percent Yes. Uh, right now, we do not, as far as I know, we do not have anything in the works. Uh, well, I take that back. We. Uh, I, I guess I can say I, I guess I can say that we are going to do a short sequel to Jason to Voorhees Night of the Beast. Uh oh. Mm. <laughs> so so it's out uh, there. that's all that's all I'm going to say. Well, yeah, and we're starting to shoot. We're we're going to shoot that pretty soon. That's all I'm going to say about it. But we are shooting a short. It's a short, not a not a feature film, but it's a short short film to this. To Voorhees Night of the Beast. Yeah. So okay. yes, we are we are doing that. Yes. If, if you need some people to get killed, we'll volunteer as tribute. Or if you're gonna be in Arkansas. Because <laughs> we live in that neck of the woods. 
Yeah. So I don't know if I should have said that, but you know what I did, and it's out there yeah. now, and that's just what it is. So it's, <laughs> but yes, yeah, so it's, it's, it's Jason. I promise I'll kill we me, probably so. won't go viral unless it's because of you, because we're like. Oh well, thank you. We've been so. on such a break. We did have a really good following before we like took a, a pretty good break and stuff like that, because we were just getting you know burned out. And he has two jobs, and I've got a mm -hmm. job, military. Sure, I understand. Kid, I understand that. Yep, I understand that. So like, but if it goes viral, it'll be because of you. It probably won't. But well, let's hope it does. Let's hope it does. Yeah, I was, I was talking to to Jason about doing something, uh, an event with us uh, yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we're talking about scheduling and stuff. But uh, um, yeah, I mean, you know, he's a he's a pretty cool guy, and, and I like him. <laughs> he, he's, you know, obviously. Yeah, William. So. Uh, William Scott there, he said, I came around the corner and scared his wife and immediately hugged her, but didn't get out of character. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get out of character. I mean, it's just, yeah, I mean, that's what, that's what my job is, scare, scare people. So that's what it is. I love it. That's so. funny. I yeah. appreciate it, William. Uh, Part of uh, it. Do we, do we say? Um, we said before. Yeah, to be honest, I couldn't tell you what part of it is. So, Alma. It's uh, Alma, Arkansas. Yeah, Alma. That's right. The spinach right, capital of the world, okay? The spinach capital. Did you know that? Okay. Well, I, bet you didn't no, know. I, did, <laughs> I did not know that. No. I used to live there. Yeah, they cool. found a, they filmed some, uh, a lot of that out there in the woods back there in Alma. So. Cool. Um, mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. They uh, might they, be closer to you. Who knows, Nick? If they do another thing, they may be closer to your neck of the woods. He lives in Chicago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So earlier when you were talking about your, you know, your project with the book and everything, you're talking about the superhero aspect of things. Um, yes. I was going to ask you if you had a chance to like, you know, play whatever superhero you wanted, who would you pick? Sorry. I was Woo. talking to her comment. I was just like, we were yeah. doing a side thing over here. Y'all were doing uh, the thing we were doing. <laughs> which hero would have? You know what? Uh, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to be Captain America. So I, I think oh I think I'd be. I think I'd be Captain. Like yeah, I think I'd be Captain America. Chester, Arkansas. There you go. Arkansas. There Chester. you go. Amy Lynn. Yeah, Chester, Arkansas. Uh, but yeah, I, I, Captain America. I think would be probably me. I, I, I like that. I like the suit. I just like the 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 American. You know, the star and all that stuff. It's just that's what. Yeah. I do. And he has like a patriotism about him, and then he's got patriots. Like yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, it's just it's the military aspect of Captain America and all yeah. that stuff. I, I like that. So and that's like a that's probably saint of humanity. <laughs> Absol kind of like absolutely. Absolutely. So. Something. Yeah. I just, I just you know when you mentioned that I just wanted to ask you. I was like that's a good that's a good question to ask you. I'm just curious. I, I think I've I think I got the the body to fit like Captain America. You know, yeah. it, to look like. To look like Captain I'm America, actually, I think. I'm that. actually picturing you wearing like one of those sleeping onesies that zips up. That's like <laughs> Captain America. <laughs> when you say that, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, okay, I, I, this this show just went south. I don't know what happened. <laughs> like the little, you know, the footies. The I, yeah, I, I, yep, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't know what I would look like in a onesie. I'll just tell you that. Right <laughs> right. Uh, funny. <laughs> I want to, you know, I, I I love the, you know, obviously other than horror horror genre, you know, of all kinds of horror movies, but I think it's going to be really cool to see you in a in a different in a different role, um, just to see. I just want you, to, I just want to see you in, in something different, and I, I know you have those things coming up, so I'm excited, yeah, for, for that, you know. Um, yep. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I think I think people are going to really like that. Yeah, it's it's going to be pretty cool. Uh, and I've got I've got other things in the works I can't say a whole lot about right now that, that's a little bit on the, the bigger side. So I'm looking forward to those for sure. Um, so and it's it's totally different from what I've done. It's not the horror genre, so it's really good. You know. So yep, so I think Martin, people. My screen has shrunk and it's scrunched up, and it's hard for me to see the comments. I can see like the very corner of the <laughs> bottom comment. <laughs> However, you know that being said, you know horror, as you know, it brings everybody together. Um, yeah, you know, it's not just about oh. killing. It's, it, it, it's got so much of a, you know, a following just the genre itself. And it, like you were yeah. talking about meeting the fans and, you know, you know mm -hmm. getting emotional and doing all the, you know, it's, it brings that out of you. And it's, you know, it's Absolutely. Awesome. 
Yep. I got I do adrenaline. I shot that in Romania last year. It should be out by the end of this year. I was gonna ask uh, I, you saw that one mm-hmm. on the the discography. Yeah. yeah, adrenaline should be out later this year. It's uh it's a Lionsgate film, so they've got it. Uh it's done. I know it's done. The the director told me that it's all finished. It's in the hands of Lionsgate now. So we're just waiting for them to get the distribution out and stuff like that. But it should be out later this year. Yeah. Daryl said you could play Killer Croc or Bane. Oh, I Bane would be cool a too. Yeah. yeah a Bane idea. would be pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah. with that, you know, that brings up another question. Do you, do you enjoy playing more of a like a the good guy character or the bad guy? Uh, uh, I, I kind of like the bad guy. I really do. I, I kind of <laughs> like the bad guy because it's, t- I, you know, it, when I first started playing bad guys and stuff like that, you know, people said, Oh, you play them so good because you're totally opposite of that. You're not, you're not the, you're, you're, you're ne- you never yeah. could be that way, but you play it so well, you know? Right, so I, I kind of like, I, I kind of like, play, but like I said, I, I kind of want to veer off that road. I want to, I want to do, different things i want to play the good guy sometimes i want to live yeah. i don't want to get killed in every movie I, you know marshall teague's got that record and i want to let him keep it in hollywood so <laughs> i'm on so it's 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 but yeah i think the bad guy i like that i also it, saw some of your other movies like um i saw um what was it called return to hell is that what it was called uh there's hell's half, hell's half hell? acre there's hell's half acre um uh, there's um there's reunion from hell. Reunion from hell. What is that? Yeah, reunion from hell with was with, with me, Kathy Podwell. Uh, yeah, that that was um, uh, Hayden Newman is the the director of that. He wrote it. And he starred in it. Uh, the reunion from hell is was done a year and a half ago. No, maybe two years ago now. And then reunion from hell two. We just shot it in in uh, t- in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, or Pigeon Forge. And uh, we oh. shot it with me, Lisa Wilcox, Mark Patton, Danny Hassel, Hayden Newman. I mean, there's a, a ton of people in that. Kelly Lane. Uh, there was a ton of people I think in that. I saw so, a poster with her on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with Lisa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and we shot that. It should be out in December, I think. It, it should be out in December. That's the second mm-hmm. one, right? The second one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I saw there were. Yep. First one, the second one recently. It's going to be good. I, I, the scenes that I've seen so far, it's really good. Mark Patton is hilarious. Oh my goodness, he is. <laughs> he's such a good guy to work with. You know, he played. He was in Nightmare on Elm Street number two. You know, he was the lead in that. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. thank you. Yeah. Yeah. People say people say he's a cool guy. So I've never met him, but. So, oh yeah, he's great. Yeah. Other than maybe sci-fi or Marvel, what other genre of films can bring people, both celebrity and fans, together? I think horror genre really knows how to do so. And he's exactly right. It, you, you know, you got you got Comic Con and you got Dragon Con and stuff, and they have a, 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 you know, you got Star Trek and and stuff like that that brings people in. But he's right as far as bringing fans and celebrities together. The horror genre is the best at that, I think. I, I think he's he's absolutely right about that. You don't have a lot of other cons and stuff out there that, besides Comic Con, you know that that shows the Marvel and yeah. the you know stuff like that. You know, it's just there's just not a lot out there. And he's exactly right. There's not very many platforms that bring the fans and the celebrities together. So yeah, yeah so. I, would, I would agree. Uh, the horror conventions that we have gone to. Versus the other kinds of conventions, there are way more mm-hmm. people at the horror ones. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, yeah. Than any other. Yeah. I have one other question for you. Uh, now, if you could work with anybody out there, who would you want to work with? Woo! Uh, that's that's several because that's. <laughs> I would love. Good I would question. love to work with Clint. I would love to work with Clint Eastwood. I mean, for yeah. sure. I mean, who, who wouldn't? Um, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big Western, I'm a big horse guy, you know, so I love riding horses mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So, uh, Kevin Costner, Clint Eastwood, you know, stuff like that. I would love to work with those guys. Um, it would just be, I mean, a dream come true for me yeah. uh, as yeah. far as that goes. Um, female, uh, you know, uh, I, ooh, I mean, there's so many great actresses, Sandra Bullock. I would love to work with her. I think she's her. so funny. <laughs> She's yeah. yeah, everybody. I mean, she's such a, you know, and I'm talking about that's yeah, that's just me, you know, because I love her work 
you know, and she's so funny and she's so, mm-hmm. some, some movies she's serious, you know, and stuff like that. You would I've fan got boy. A, You'd be a fan boy. Oh <laughs> yeah. You know, there's no doubt. Yeah. yeah. Charlie Theron, you know, come on, you know, who wouldn't want to work with somebody like that? Uh, I'm getting to work. I got a movie scheduled over in Bulgaria. Uh, hopefully soon. I mean, it's a Lionsgate film as well. And it's already on my IMDb. It's called station Two Eleven. And that's got me, Eric Roberts, uh, Louis Mandalore, uh, Robert. Uh, There's several, several. You, that's you can look at them. To, to travel to other countries to do that stuff. That would be like a dream. Yes. Be- become, becoming an international actor was one of the yes. best things in the world. So yes, I was very happy when that happened. And now you can, I can say that I'm an international actor. I have an agent over there in London. Uh, so I'm with PAG over there in London. Uh, love it. And, um, uh, it's just, it's just, it's phenomenal. I mean, it's, it's like great. a whole other fan base once you go away. Absolutely. From oh, they, they love Americans. They yes. love Americans <laughs> over there. Absolutely. So yeah, it's, it's great. And especially with a Southern accent like I have. Oh my goodness. They, they absolutely <laughs> love it. So. They'll probably be bigger fans of yours once you get a good fan base there than the American fans. Oh, yeah. Bigger there, and bigger and overseas. Very, very, very well possible. But yeah, I'm having a great time. So, uh, Rosie, is there anything else you want to add? Because we're about to run out of time. Um, I just wanted to ask about those other films or whatever, because I had looked at them in the discography and I looked at the artwork of them and kind of like, you know, got a feel of what they were. And I just Mm kind of wanted to know a little bit more about them. Well, everybody, please go to my IMDb, hit my link tree, see about that. You can go straight to my IMDb from my link tree or you go to my Instagram or you can go to my TikTok. You go to anything from my, my link tree. But please just click on that and follow me and uh, become a fan of me because, I, you know, that's what I'm doing it for is for the fans. And, and I love it. I love I love being able to make people laugh and cry and, and just smile and everything else all at the same time. So I, I, I just um, and come out and meet me at, when I'm at a con. You know, when I'm always going to post about being at a con, come out and meet me and and see me in person and stuff like that. And tell me who you are and. And so we become friends. I just, I just, what I, that's what I love to do. So it's, I appreciate you two for having me on again and um, for supporting me and, and, and believing in what I do too. And and all that, it really means a lot to me. Uh, It does. And I will come on your show anytime that you want. So it's, all you yeah, gotta do is that. You can come back like next year or something after you've done a couple more films. If you're done by then. Absolutely. Absolutely. You want to tell them one more time? About the book, I just put the 99 cent copy. What you want to tell them about? I, the I saw that. Yes, please go to Amazon and buy Preemptive Strike Beyond Sight. Tomorrow's the last day you can get it for 99 cents for the ebook, and it's 9.99 for the paperback. I think you're all going to love it. It is going to be a movie. We're hoping to start pre production in the spring. Um, thank you for answering. Oh, Jerry, thank you for asking questions. Thank you for being around, man. Um, that, thank you, William. Thank you all. So I can't stop. I mean, I could literally stay on here all night and just answer questions, but thank you all, <laughs> all for, for yeah. following me. I mean, I've got some of the best fans in the world, so twin. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's my twin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay. Go. Yeah. But everybody, Jason, go thank YouTube. you. Rosie, thank you. Yeah. Go to YouTube, everybody. Watch the movie. Uh, you can, I, I yes. shared it on my personal page. I shared it on that Terry Collective page. So you you're good. following to watch it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Check it out, man. It's awesome. You'll love it. And Thank y'all so much for watching so much. We appreciate it. Have a good night. Y'all, y'all have a great night. Bye, everybody.